Good morning, dear hearts. All right, we are at lesson four. These thoughts do not mean anything. They are like the things I see in this room, on this street, from the window, in this place, okay? So, um, this lesson, these thoughts. So I go back and forth between saying these thoughts or my thoughts. So the difference is if I say my thoughts, I'm owning the thoughts. If I say these thoughts, I'm just recognizing that there are thoughts. Um, I like to actually claim them as my thoughts so that I can undo them. That's my preference here, that my thoughts do not mean anything. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's, I look at it and I see it's a good thought or a bad thought. Okay, uh, a little um, a little Wizard of Oz there. But they don't mean anything because, as we will find out in the next few lessons, they are not my real thoughts. So either I say these thoughts are not real thoughts or my thoughts are not real thoughts. And the reason they're not real thoughts is because they are thoughts that are coming from a separated mind. So they're not true. They are thoughts that are fragmented and have fear in them. A true thought is going to be a thought that comes through the mind of God and it is whole and it is complete and it is loving. And unless my thoughts are that, they are not real. They are meaningless. That's our word for today. Meaningless. My thoughts are meaningless unless they're real and they're true. Now, this lesson says that this is a major lesson and it will be repeated from time to time. And it's actually going to be repeated in um, about a week in two lessons in a row, number 10 and number 11. I'll let, you know, we'll, when we get there, we'll get there. Um, because, again, this word is meaningless and something that is meaningless is not real. And so I have to realize that if my thoughts are not whole, if they're not loving, if they're not thoughts that bring everyone into a state of oneness, then they're not anything. They are illusions that I hold on to. I think they're real, okay, but they are not. So, um, and the reason, and as it says in the lesson about, you know, whether I think I'm having good thoughts or bad thoughts, that even my good thoughts, even the thoughts that if I'm thinking it, I think, well, that's, that's a good thought. That's, that's a loving thought. It's a kind thought. But even my good thoughts, the lesson says, are but shadows of what lies beyond. And shadows make sight difficult because I'm not truly, truly seeing. Even my good thoughts are less than they will be when I think with the mind of God within me. So um, that's it for today. Uh, I think a kitty just walked by before. <laughs> and um, I hope this helped. I hope you are seeing the congruency of these lessons as we go through them again this year. Um, and uh, please like, please share, please subscribe. Uh, please comment. I love the comments. And uh, I will be here tomorrow in one form or another. Okay? Namaste.